Hey loves, it's Emmeline. So I wanted to do a spring haul for you guys. I know it's a little early for spring, but you guys know me. I love warm weather, I hate the cold. So I've been seeing some cute pieces for spring. I honestly hate winter fashion. I feel like I just don't feel myself in like sweaters and stuff like that. I really just love being in dresses and like floral patterns and things like that. So I have some clothes I'm gonna show you. I also have some home stuff some vintage stuff, and then some beauty things. So let's get into the haul. So first, I'm gonna start off with fashion. So I found this hat on Boohoo, and it was really inexpensive. A lot of the times these hats are pretty pricey. Um, I think it was like on sale for $10 or something like that, but I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like really bent and just doesn't really look like that great of, uh, of like a material or like good quality. It doesn't really fit my head correctly either. So I'm kind of just gonna use this as like a decoration. Like it could sit on my head and it would be okay for like pictures and stuff like that, but it feels like it would just like fall off where my other hat like actually fits on my head. So it's not horrible um, just sitting on here, but I don't think I would recommend this one, but if you guys could find like a cute suede hat or faux suede for the winter time, spring, I think these are really cute. Next, I went to Aeropostel. I've mentioned this before. I've been really shocked um, and pleasantly surprised at how cute their clothes are now. So I love these like linen sorts of tops. Um, I just think they're really pretty and simple and timeless. I know I could wear this for a very long time. So I got this one and I just think it's really cute either out or I could like tie it at the bottom with a cute bralette underneath. I'm very excited about that. Next from Arrow, oh their shirts also were 60% off. So I think I only ended up paying like $30 for the two of these. Um, I got this cute little crop top that has a little tie on the side and it goes off the shoulders. I just thought it was really sweet looking and girly. And I think it's a good transitional piece from the winter to spring. Next, I got a few pieces from this brand called Sugar and Lips. Um, they sent me these to post on Instagram. So anytime anyone offers me free clothes, I take them up on it because I need some clothes. So this piece is so cute. I love this shirt. I feel like it's good and it's kind of fancy enough where I could probably wear it for like Easter. I definitely could see myself wearing this to church. It's cute with just a pair of jeans and then in the summer or spring, it would be cute with a skirt. The next piece I got from them is this. It has such a romantic vibe to it, the way that it fits. I just think it is so beautiful and I love it so much. I like this longer sleeve too. Um, so again, this would be really cute with just like a pair of high-waisted jeans or in the summertime, like some shorts. The last clothing piece I got from them and in all or total is this dress. Again, it has those long puff sleeves, which I think are just so flirty and adorable. And it's just a nice pink polka dot dress. It looks really cute with the hat that doesn't really fit me well, but I think it's a really cute look. So next, let's move on to the home stuff. Um, so we have a library by my house, as I'm sure most of you do. I've actually never attempted to go to the library before, but I found out that every like Saturday and some other day they have this book sale and every single book is $2 and under. So I figured I would go and see what they had. Um, so I found these really beautiful books and I actually have I actually bought them for a specific purpose other than decor, but when I took the covers off, which were like all of these um, kind of like outdated ripped covers, I was so pleasantly surprised at how beautiful these books were. So they make such a beautiful decor piece. Um, I'm probably gonna put them in my kitchen, but they also are just so cute and I'm really excited to read these. I haven't had the chance yet. They're all about flowers and it's just so cute, like all the illustrations on the inside. I'm really excited to read it. I want to learn a lot about flowers because I really want to start my own garden. When I was younger, me and my mom always did like gardening and stuff like that, but I feel like I don't know enough about it to really 
go full on into my own garden. So the first book I got is all about wildflowers. The next one I got is called Making Things Grow. And I think it's pretty much about like every single plant. There's like cactuses in here and stuff like that. And then this one is called America's Garden Book. And it's, again, I think this is pretty much all about everything for like a garden. It has stuff about lawns, trees, shrubs, plants, flower boxes. So there's a lot in this one. And then this one I actually got, we have a bunch of those little free libraries at my house that people put um, outside of their house. So this is, this is actually the biography of Natalie Wood. Um, and I just thought it was really cool. And I thought it'd be a good read. Again, this had a cover to it, but when I took it off, I just thought this was so beautiful. The next home thing I got, which I'm really excited for, is this little label maker. I've seen a lot of people with these, um, and it prints out these like embossed labels, and they look beautiful. I want to take this label maker and just label everything in my house because it's just such a cute look. Um, and this was only $9 on Amazon, so I can definitely link this for you guys. I am so excited about this. This next part I'm going to do is kind of vintage. Um, Connor's mom and grandma had all of these vintage records, and they know that I love Doris Day. So they found um, a bunch of their Doris Day records and actually gave them to me, which is so sweet. So I'm going to show you guys which one I have. So they have this one, which is Love Me or Leave Me. The album cover is really cute. This one is called Daydreams. This next one is actually Peggy Lee. It's called Dream Street. This next one is called Day in Hollywood from Doris Day. And then this last one is Christmas with George Beverly. So I'm really excited about this. I know Christmas is over but I can always listen to Christmas music, so I might put this one in later. So moving on to beauty products, I haven't tried these out yet, so I can't really say if I would recommend them or not, but this brand has sent me this box. It's called, the brand is called v Vegamore, I think. Um, so they sent me a lash serum and a brow serum. I've always been really nervous to try an eyelash serum, but I know a lot of people use them, like Aspen Ovar heard, her eyelashes are so long, and she said before that she uses lash serums. So I've been wanting to try one, but it really freaks me out. I'm not going to lie. I feel like putting this on my eyelid, like, it, I feel like it's not good for you. But this one's, like, all vegan, it's supposed to be natural and all that kind of stuff. It's, like, this little brush. I have a band-aid on my finger because I cut my finger while cutting an avocado. Um, and then you just put it on your lash line. So if I feel brave enough... I'm going to try this and I will let you guys know um, how it works. I would be so happy if my eyelashes grew, so I'm definitely going to give that a try. So I forgot to mention too, another really cool home piece that I got. My parents came over yesterday and they, my dad like walked in with a ladder and then I see my mom with all these baskets and I was like, what is this? And I got so excited. So let me, guys, let me show you guys what that looks like. I just think this piece is so cool and I cannot wait to decorate it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. I might wait until it's a little bit more springish out and then put a bunch of like flowers in it and stuff like that. I just think it would be really fun for the springtime and I'm so excited to decorate it. I love it. So that is all for my spring haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any spring recommendations, then let me know. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. So I forgot to film my little devotional at the end of the video, so I wanted to add this video from the summer of the pretty flowers and butterflies because it makes me so happy, so I thought I would just record a little devotional quick. So I've been getting so many DMs from you guys about being anxious and having anxiety and just feeling so unsure about life. So I just wanted to share this Bible verse with you that says, cast all your anxieties on him because he cares. And I know it's such a simple Bible verse, but it's something that we really should remember. God does not want us to be anxious. He just wants us to be really happy and relaxed. 
And if you guys are feeling anxious right now, I definitely recommend just taking some quiet time. I know for me, I usually get anxious when I'm doing too many things. And even today, I was so overwhelmed because I just had so much going on. So I know that just taking things slow and taking a step back and trying to get back to a slower pace of life is so helpful. There's a lot of YouTube channels and bloggers who try to live their life um, almost as if it was back in the day when it's like a really simple, slow-paced life. And I've been watching some of those videos lately and they just relax me so much and kind of keep my mind on where I should be and what my priority should be. So I definitely recommend checking some of them out. If you guys want any recommendations, let me know and I can find some of those videos and send them to you. But I love you guys so much and everything will be okay, I promise.